everybody. We're here at Terrific Con. It's going to be a fun show. We're going to be seeing a lot of artists, creators, talk with a few people. So we're going to enjoy the show, and we'll see you in a bit. Hey, what's up? What's up, people? Uh, What's the next show? Next, uh, right after this, Boston. Yeah. See you in Boston, Boston, man. We'll be there. Exactly. All right, we got Wayward Ravens. Look at these. Look at these fine faces. Oh, is this video? We've been posing here like idiots. Are you a poser? <laughs> you let us in here and pose? Yeah, that's, I did. That's great. That's great. You do that again, I'll blur it up. Aww. And it'll be your face. Did he give you the bird? I mean, not this bird, but like this bird. Nah, man, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was, it's a space ball salute. It's a thing of honor. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. How's it going? Good, good. Tell me a little bit about We Suck About Comics. We Suck at Comics is an anthology. And the truth. This particular one, volume one, is about rejection. There are 17 different stories from a whole host of really interesting creators. Alex could even demo some of the book for you if you'd like. It's beautiful. Everything from really cool black and white stories to fully colored to prose. You name it. Here's the best part. If you go to our website. This guy's here at the convention too. Actually, several of these folks are yeah. here. If you go to our website right now, waywardraven.com, the very first thing you will see is a call for submissions for volume two. The theme of which will be coloring outside the lines. We're looking for stuff that's unique, different, cool, funky, whatever. Send it our way. If it's about coloring outside the lines, we would love to see it, love to review it, and hopefully here have we you want it. in the book. Awesome. Let's get that, let's get those socials up there. All right, thank you, thank you. Vanna White poses. I said Vanna White, look what they did, all oh. right? Oh, Vanna. <laughs> Sorry, that's before my time, man, I ain't that old. <laughs> really? You got me fooled. <laughs> I got city miles on this. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, guys. Absolutely, thank you. From the Izzy Burst? Yeah, Izzy Burst, yeah. oh, yeah. we did it. Yeah, that's dude. it, we did it over the weekend, it was yeah. like, 
What was what day was it? You're a talented dude, well, man. I don't know you're a good YouTuber, handsome guy, you're a great artist. So we did that on Tuesday, I think it was. You did, okay. Did that on Tuesday, waiting for my wife to come home. She yeah. came home late because she was working. Right. And I was like, Otto, what's your favorite character? He was like, Wolverine. And then when you said the, the Herb Trip. The Herb Trippy Man. And I was like, you got it. Yes! But it's complete surprise, guys. Complete surprise. <laughs> so excited, man. Make sure you sell up to Izzy first. Follow Three Men in the Face, man. This is what the amazing things about this community are. You don't know what you're going to get until you show up and hang out with all these great people. So there you go, don't just watch. Sub up. Yeah, sub, man. Sub up. Sub up. Right, thank, you there you go, man. thank you very much. I appreciate it. Out. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you a little later. All right. JM Tia, what's going on? Hello. How we doing? How's the show been? So far, so good. All right, Friday. Friday is a good day. It is. This place is always fun. Yeah. We got John Jang right there. He's getting. He's gonna pick up a book for uh, no, a print for one of my pals here. What's up, guys? How you doing? Wish you were here. Yep. There he goes. Now let's take a look at that print, baby. Look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is, as what we say, fire. <laughs> fire. Literal fire. Literal fire, man. And there you go, we get we get we get, get the John Hancock right there. Sweet. Put that thing there. Yeah. Yes, with back. <laughs> I wouldn't do you like that. You be surprised. You be surprised. <laughs> Alright, John. Let's go, guys. Alright. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. See, That's right. Williams. What's up, Izzy? What's going on? I got my man here who just recognized we just unveiled the new cover. Oh! David Breach, volume four. And pushing it. And my man Nikki right here immediately recognized who that creature is. Awesome. Which creature? The lady on the cover. <laughs> <You like that. laughs> Hello. Love it. That's and then we got James. What's up, man? Drawing James. Drawing James. <laughs> How's it going? How you doing, James? Good. How are you? Good. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That is so moving. And this is uh, uh, a smile to me. And they're Sweet. all written. I love it. Huge of homes, guys. Go check them out. All right. What's up, everybody? I'm here with Lawrence from Mighty's Collectibles. What's up, man? Oh, nothing, man. Just hanging out. This is the first time I had Terrificon. I gotta say, I'm kind of blown away how big it is and how much stuff that is. So yeah. I really have a good time. Yeah, that's right. You gotta check Lawrence's stuff. This guy does some great spec work. Dude, I love your videos, man. The, the production value, everything is perfect at point now. But you gotta check his stuff out. He has more followers than me, but you gotta tell him. He's gotta tell you guys to follow me. But go check it out. Go check out Mighty Collectibles. We got a little something to showcase for you guys with his channel. So we'll see you guys later, guys. Thank you, guys. Later. We are terrific time. We're about the show's about to be over. It was such a great time. We got to see a lot of great people. Comic Journey, Mighty Collectibles, E Rod, Streetside Anthony, JC, Yasu Collectibles, Comic Exposures, Nate Wise, a whole bunch of people swaggled. Great stuff, great show. Let's take a look at what Thanos thinks. Thanos, what do you think? He's speechless, guys. So next time, let's see what I picked up. Excelsior. Terrific Con was a blast. I had such a good time on Friday at the show because that's when I was able to go. Now, I did get a chance to meet a lot of people and I got a chance to catch up with some good friends in the comic community. So you'll see that in the video. But what you haven't seen in the video is I got a chance to meet up with two guys that I do have followings for and that is Swagohas. He's a great 
YouTuber talks a lot about speculation. He has his own comic book that he's promoting right now. Coming from the West Coast, he came here. Um, so got a chance to talk to him a little bit. Unfortunately, I didn't get any recordings of that. Another person I had a chance to check out and meet briefly was Albert Loves Comics. You got to see his stuff. He has a tendency of taking these comic books, cutting them up, and I know people will hate that, but hear me out here. Cuts the comic books out, puts them back together, and he makes these fantastic notebooks out of them. Go check out his work. I'll leave both of them in the description here so you can see them because we're here to support each other. Also, you probably already noticed I got a chance to hang out with Comic Journey again. It's always a blast seeing him. And then, of course, those from my community like Lone Wolf, NGR or NRG. I always mess up their names. Um, I get a chance to hang out with them. Fury Comics, Eddie over at Comic Exposure, and Nate Wad. I got a chance to meet some great artists and writers, Dan Jurgens, Arthur Adams. I talked to Chris Claremont, um, Tom Ranney, of course, Keith Williams. I see him all the time. And with that being said, I did get a lot of books signed, and they're going off to CGC to get graded. So we'll talk a little bit about that when those books arrive, and we'll do a little unboxing so you can see which books they are. But that's where a lot of my money went. However, I did manage to pick up some good stuff here. I'm going to showcase a lot of that stuff to you right now. Some from like simple dollar bin stuff and some other stuff that I wanted to get. You've probably seen it in the video already. It's a poster I got. Now, this poster, I didn't get it for myself. I got it for my good friend, Adam Dirtz. You guys may know him from Collecting with Dirtz. And he's a huge Gian, John Gian fan, and who, who could blame him? So is so much everyone else here. I'm looking at you, Mark, um, from Legion of Comics. So I did pick up this beautiful print. As you can see, it's, it's huge. Look at the size of this thing. So I got this print of John Gian, and he did sign it. So the signature is actually down here. It's being covered by his, his tag, but I'm sending this out to you, Adam. You'll be seeing this soon, and we're going to be sending it out with a package. So that's going out to Adam Dirtz. That's uh, something he wanted, so uh, you know he just he just said, "Hey, I'll send you the money, and you can do it, and I'll send him that." You might get a few extra things, so you know you know how I am, guys. Another thing that I love collecting when I go to these conventions are sketchbooks. I always love collecting sketchbooks, and I haven't really shown you guys the sketchbooks I've collected before. So let me show you the one I collected. I picked up from Terrificon, and when you see it, you'll be like, "No brainer here!" All right. It's the art of Arthur Adams here. Now, I have a few of these already. I have a few um, sketchbook books from Arthur Adams, but Arthur Adams is my favorite artist. So this is a book I have to pick up. Look at that back cover. Phoenix, guys, Phoenix. All right, so you have that book here. So I picked this up. I love this book. Now let's go into the comics I picked up. And as you can see here, a nice little stack of comics I picked up. So getting started with a book that I had no idea existed. So when I saw this for a very inexpensive cost, I said, sure, why not? And that is Wolverine and the Infinity Watch. I honestly didn't know this existed, guys. This is something that stood up that, that I was like, really? So Wolverine and the Infinity Watch was one I picked up. Picked up some classic X-Men here. This is, of course, a Dark Phoenix Saga cover, and it's a beautiful Steve Lighting cover. So it's a gorgeous Steve Lighting. I love the red and the yellow. No blacks. This image has zero blacks. There's nothing black in this image, so it's really cool. So that's that. I picked up a nice inexpensive Spider-Man annual. This is annual 17, which is a, a fun cover. Nice cover there, simple cover. Okay. Another classic X-Men. I told you I picked up some classic X-Men. This one is a no. This is issue three. It's a newsstand, which personally I don't care as much. But this is classic X-Men number three. This is the 25th anniversary. I'm I'm having this thing that I kind of want to start collecting these. It's sad because I sent Mark already one of them. So, but that's okay. I'll probably always pick it up. But classic X-Men number three. It's beautiful Arthur Adam Storm. Look at that beauty right there now this i picked up as part of a set um i've always enjoyed this patrick gleason cover i think it is iconic obviously they made multiple reprints for obvious reasons 
So I picked up the second and third printing. So I'm hunting for that first printing. I want to find it at a good price. I don't want to overpay for this book because it really is just a cover buy. And I can't wait to like, like display on the three books display. Them. So I got the red and the blue. So let's see if the light is set. There we go. The red and the blue. Both very, very inexpensive purchase. And another one I saw that was just as equally as iconic looking as, as that one is the Spider-Man 75. Got that one. These covers are always gorgeous to look at. This, look how cool that cover is. Especially looking at it from a distance. It actually looks even cooler from a distance. Have that one. I picked up another issue. This is the first issue of a new era of greatness, but it's not the first issue. Classic, classic book, Silver Surfer 34. All right, so far so good. Am I doing good, guys? All right, now, you know, it wouldn't be a convention if I didn't pick up some kind of Warlock comic book, right? So I did pick up another classic Warlock comic book, and that is Warlock, the other 181, and that's Strange Tales. Don't you just love that clown? <laughs> okay. The next two books are, I would say, the two highlights of the con as far as comics goes. These are the two books that I picked up. Again, very inexpensive. I got the these two I got, the Silver Surfer and the Warlock I got from Barry Gary. So I gotta give credit to Barry Gary for picking up those two. This one book I picked up, I don't remember the dealer that I picked it up from, but it's the same dealer that I got the Spider-Man Patrick Leeson books. And when I asked him the question, like, why were you selling this book so inexpensive? He's like, just selling it. And I said, let me look at it. So I looked at it, I opened it up. I was very satisfied. I got a second opinion afterwards to let me know if the purchase that I got was good. And I picked this, I kid you not, guys, almost single price think about that it's an almost so i must have picked this up for about maybe 10 bucks or something like that and couldn't be more happy that i picked it up and that is the first debatable <laughs> appearance of spider-man 2099 375 there's the hologram i always love this hologram now it is debatable because it is a preview of the book that's to come but this was first so if you want to call call it true first i will give this the credit as a true first um but it is a it is just a preview of the book that's to come so this is now getting less love than spider-man number one 2099 number one and you know rightfully so i think i think that was just a better book because you have a spider-man in the cover it's the actual book so why not the last book I picked up, again, another book I picked up, I got this one from Erod, and I got it for a fantastic price. He gave me a great price on this book. Um, it is a it is a Silver Age book. It is a Spider-Man book. It is a, an iconic John Romita cover, and it is Spider-Man Wanted issue 70. So... That's what I picked up over from Erod. So I got to give Erod212 credit for this book. Thank you so much, Erod. So there you have it, guys. Those are the books I picked up this week. Again, as I mentioned, I did get some books signed to send off to CGC. Those books will come up in the future unboxing video. So I'm not going to share with you what books they were, but pretty good books and good signatures as well. So... I'll see you next time, and I hope you enjoy the show. I hope you enjoy watching the video. We have a lot of good content coming up soon, so we'll see what's going on, and I'll see you in the next one. Excelsior.